they are growing in their urban garden a Montreal melon, which is a very special fruit, um, which we're going to try. Uh, very few people alive today have tried this fruit. In the 1990s, it was, it was completely um, extinct. I'm making a video now of us cycling here in the best cycling city in the continent. So, yes. Il y avait beaucoup de cultures de melons de Montréal à la Côte des Neiges avec quelques grandes familles. Aujourd'hui, je suis très, très touché. J'ai rencontré des, des cousins éloignés du temps cardinal qui est ici. J'ai des cousins des carrés ici qui sont là. On était tous, nos ancêtres étaient des producteurs de melons qui, qui avaient une grande, grande réputation, qui, est, bon, qui était bien consommé ici à Montréal, au Québec, mais qui était exporté dans les grands hôtels de Boston, New York. There are six melons that here that we're going to be tasting today. This is the first melon. It's the smallest of the melons, and uh, it smells delicious. It smells like uh, honeydew. It is so soft. It is the softest melon that I've ever had. It's like it just melts in your mouth, and it's juicy. <laughs> It's, it's green, it's, it's not, it's unripe, this is unripe. Yeah, the fourth melon. The texture is awesome. Mm -hmm. Taste-wise, leaves something to be desired. It's very mild, tastes like a very mild honeydew, but the texture is like it's chewy, almost, which I've never seen in a melon before. It's like, sort of reminds me of, um, I want to say like meat, like it's a meaty flavor, uh, I mean texture. This is nice, it has a strange taste, but it's nice. Okay, we're finally trying the last melon. That's delicious. Yeah, this is really sweet. This is an actual melon. Between two and five, we got this weird, mild-tasting, not too great melon. But one and one and six are my favorite. Six is the best. Like it's not an outstanding piece of fruit. It's not unique in its flavor. I would say I would compare it uh, to a honeydew. It's essentially a honeydew. Uh, the only chain, the only differences are the texture and maybe the intensity of the honeydew flavor. I would say it's much milder in this fruit, and the texture is—I I'll, I'll, I will give it that—it has excellent texture. <laughs>